What is going on you guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another goose hunting video. If you have not subscribed to the channel yet, make sure you guys go down below this video and click on that subscribe button. This evening, me and John and Sam is in the Tacoma here and we're doing a little bit of scouting. It is early goose out here in North Dakota. I'm sure most of you that have been watching the channel this year have known that, but we're out here and we're looking for a spot to goose hunt. We've been driving around all evening and we actually came back to a field that we found the day before opener just a few days ago, but unfortunately we could not get permission on it to hunt it opener. So we came back down to the same area and we attempted for the second time to find the landowner and this time it worked out and we secured permission on this field. So I know you guys can't see it too well. I'll zoom in on it here in a minute, but behind me we have a disc field that was looked like corn, but it has a cover crop coming up on it. So there's a bunch of little green stuff sprouting up in the field and those geese are out there eating it. It is one of the biggest feeds that we have found since we've been scouting. There's probably close to 200 birds in it, so it's looking pretty good right now. So I'm not sure how well you, you guys can see this, but all those little spots down there, if you guys can see that, are geese. So we came up to the top of the field here and we're trying to figure out kind of the best spot to access this field and where we're gonna set up in the morning. Kind of sucks because they are feeding on the very north side of the field and we're gonna have a south wind tomorrow and we don't wanna set the blinds up on top of the hill because the grass is so short out there. We don't want these geese flying over us from where they're coming from and potentially seeing us sitting in our ground blinds. So we're probably gonna have to sit on the edge of the field and have the wind in our face, which isn't ideal, but the North Dakota wind in the mornings hasn't been too strong. So hopefully that's the case in the morning and it's only like a five mile an hour wind and they don't really play the wind much but there's also another group of kids that we met that have permission from one of the landowner's brothers so we are going to be hunting with a few other people in the morning who we will obviously introduce you to once we arrive to the field in the morning i just wanted to get the camera out show you guys the game plan let you know what we got going on before we get out here in the morning and set up but with that said we're going to kind of sit here see if any more birds come in i might try to film a little bit more and show you guys these geese and then after that we will see you once we arrive here in the morning and start setting up This ain't water, player boy. Popo thing is water. One, one great goose, baby. Hopefully this gets greasy. Yeah, they're out yonder, dude. Okay, well we just sat here and uh, waited for all those geese to get off to kind of get a general idea of how many are in here and it's looking pretty good. This is probably the biggest feed that we have hunted so far, bigger than the opening feed for sure. So hopefully things go good in the morning. We're gonna head out to the field, kind of get an idea of where we wanna set up and where those geese were sitting quick. So we kind of have a general idea in the morning of what we wanna do while there's still a little bit of light. Then we're gonna head to the hotel, go to sleep, and we will see you all in the morning. The next morning.
All right, you guys, well, we just arrived out to the field. It is about five o'clock right now. We already got a ton of stubble. We met up with the other guys that we are going to be hunting with, which we will introduce you to kind of throughout the video today. But right now, we're gonna start getting to work. We got our blinds in the spot that we looked at last night when we came out here, and we're about to start stubbling all those in. But for now, we gotta get the spread out. So we're gonna be running probably seven to 10 dozen of the Dive Bomb Industries V2AFs and some of the V2Fs. And we're just gonna kind of mix them around in the field here in family groups, it is early season, so we don't need to go too crazy. 10 dozen is usually plenty out here. So we're just gonna kind of set them up how we watched them feed yesterday. They were pretty spread out in this field, which is actually nice, and they were coming in small flocks, like flocks of probably seven to 10. The biggest flock we saw coming in here was like 15 geese. So hopefully they come nice and slow for us and give us a chance to shoot at a few volleys of geese. That's pretty much perfect numbers and what we wanna see coming into this field. So we're gonna get going on the spread here. And then we will get back to you once the work is kind of done and show you how everything turned out and let you know a little bit more. Also, if you guys want to check out any of the dive bomb decoys that we are going to be running today, also the dive bomb kickback blind that me and John are going to be running today, which I will show you guys a little bit later, all the dive bomb industry stuff, including their sweet apparel is going to be linked down in the description below my video. So if you guys wanna check any of this stuff out, make sure you click that Die Bomb Industries link. Whatever you boys can get on the left, kill them. There we go, boys. Good shooting. Not bad. Okay, well. We just uh, kind of got situated here and I only had time to put the GoPro on. The flag definitely helped us center those birds up. They kind of wanted to push up towards the top of the hill more, but they centered up pretty nice. All the boys got shooting there, so they did it pretty good, I would say. But these guys are just cleaning birds up. Shooting wasn't too bad, honestly. I think we got probably five, six geese, something like that, out of the first volley, and I would count that as a win there. I pulled my gun up. I had a shell like stuck out of my chamber, so it wasn't actually in the chamber, and I forgot about that, but still got one, maybe two. And uh, I'd say that was pretty good so far. Good shooting, boys. Three more. Did you get oh, one? Yeah, yep. Nice work.
Okay, second group, that was pretty good. We waited on that first little pair that came through there, and luckily we got the rest of the flock to come up in front of us. Good enough to get all the boys shooting again, and that was another decent volley. I got one, uh, and the other boys did pretty good on shooting, honestly. So we're gonna clean these up, get a count on these, and that isn't even half of the birds that were feeding in here last night. So hopefully we can get another chance here, but so far, so good, honestly. Those did it a little good. better, huh? I think we got eight or seven out of that. Kind of a hard call passing the yeah. two up with what they've been right, doing, the big right. groups. But the fact that we got the big group up so and, up here, yeah. you know, that was a 35, 40-yard I mean, yeah, shot maybe. No, no. A little further, but little good bit. enough to get birds out of it. Good for shooting, sure. too. That wasn't that, too far, Your man. last shot was good. Oh Are you boys having a good time? Yeah, man. Yeah. Birds in hand? That was another decent volley. Eight of them. What'd you think of that one? That was, that was, that was good. Are you having fun? They're doing it filthy. That, I, that was filthy. A lot of short stopping us, but that wasn't bad for no. what's been happening for that big group. That was good. That was good. I like that. All right, well, the birds have kind of uh, slowed down. Hopefully there's some more on the water, but we're just going to sit here and wait. It's still pretty early. And I figured while we were waiting here and had a minute, I wanted to show you guys the dive bomb kickback layout chair. So I got mine last season. I got to use it a little bit towards the end of the season, but this is the first time I've had it out early season and early in the year. And I absolutely love this thing. Super simple to use, super lightweight, pretty much. You got your armrest, nice and comfy. And then you got your backrest, which is fully adjustable. All you have to do is click it up like this. You can sit straight up if you want for whatever you're doing. If you're doing something else uh, different than this, laying in the field, obviously, I like it about in the middle. And then when you take it down, all you have to do is click this all the way up. It lays completely flat. And then you just fold your nice comfy mat up here like that. Clip it together and your blind is packed away. And all your stubble is going to be left on a ghillie blanket like this. So. We are running the ghillie blankets here like this. They got stubble straps. Dive Bomb makes a great ghillie blanket that you can use with the kickback, perfect combo. And then you have all your stubble left on your ghillie blanket. You just roll this sucker up. I like to tuck my blanket inside the kickback. It keeps things nice, light, and simple. So like I said before, if you guys wanna check out any of the Dive Bomb stuff that you are seeing in the videos, those are always going to be linked down in the description below this video, so go check that out. Shoot them, boys! My hat did fall off, rest in peace. Rip. That clip you just saw was from John's camera. So shout out to John once again. If you guys want to subscribe to his channel, Mindac Outdoors, that is going to be linked down in the description below this video. Oh. Good shot. Nice shot, Lucas. Let me see something. One of two. Absolutely. We had two geese back here. They got up kind of far. We got one of the two. On the left. On the left. What'd you think of this morning's hunt, brother? Dude, it wasn't bad. I was just telling my my audience that it's early season and anytime you're out shooting birds during early NODAC, like you can't really complain. Uh, we saw a decent amount of geese this morning, except our hide was our, our biggest failure. Um, there's not much you can do in a dirt field that's been dissed. Very hard, but maybe next time we'll figure out something better. If you guys have a better idea, drop a comment down below for a hide.
Well, the hide was actually good, but you were pie good. facing a lot. All right, you guys. Well, we've got everything cleaned up here. As you can see, we ended up with our 18 geese and we all had an absolutely amazing morning. That is going to wrap up today's video. If you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure you guys click that like button and subscribe to the channel down below this video and we will see you all on the next one. See ya! See ya! Aww.